I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the parts of a heart. I take three fingers right in the center and I put a dot. And going towards the left, I'm going to draw a big curve line out, down, and over, and leave it floating. Come back over here to the dot, and now I'm going to draw another curve line out, down, over, and connect. I come over here on the left-hand side. I take two fingers up, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm just going to draw a curved line, straight line down, straight line out, curved line, straight line in, curved line down, connect. Come over here on the right side, and I'm going to put a straight line down, straight diagonal out, curved line, straight line in, straight line out, and leave it floating. Now, right where I leave this floating, I'm going to put another dot right here at the top, and I'm going to draw a big curve line up. Then I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, straight line out, curve line over, straight line in, and leave it floating. Okay. Right at this point, right here, I'm going to draw a curve line over, out, straight line out, curve line, straight line in, connect. Okay, all of these outside parts, these are vessels. So I'm going to come all the way straight down right here, and I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line, straight line up, and for this one I'm going to come all the way straight down, draw a straight line down, curve line, straight line up, connect. Now over here on the right hand side I draw a straight line out, curve line, straight line in, connect, come down a little bit, straight line out, curve line, straight line in, connect. Jump over, we're going to do it over on this side now. Straight line out, curve line, straight line in, connect. Straight line out, curve line, straight line in, connect. Now we'll be labeling all of these, but for right now we're just drawing. Now I'm going to come on the inside. Starting right about here, I put a dot. And I draw a curve line up, over, in and down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line out, in, down, and leave it floating. Come back over here to the top, and I'm going to put a curve line, one, curve line, two, come over to this end, I'm going to put curve line, curve line, connect. Okay, right here at this point, I'm going to bring it down, little curved line, straight diagonal out, straight curved line down, and over and connect. Right next to that, I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw a curved line down, curved line up, in, curved line out, over, in, connect. Right at this point, I put another curve line and another curve line. And at the top, I put a curve line and another curve line. And we'll be labeling all of these in just a minute. Now, I come back over here and I'm just going to mimic this line. Curve line, curve line, curve line up, connect. Okay. Now, let's label. All right. We're just going to draw a line. This, we're going to put the letter L for left. 
This is the left atrium. Okay. Now we come over to this side, this space, and we're going to draw a line because this is the right atrium. Okay. We come down. This big space is the right ventricle. We'll explain all this in a minute. We jump over and this, draw a straight line, is the left ventricle. You go all the way up to the top right here where this is and this, draw a line, is the aorta. And again, I'll explain this all in a minute. Let's just get it labeled. Okay, I think that's all we'll know when we start coloring. So let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, so we don't get mixed up because all of this looks kind of complicated. Coloring in is very important. I'm going to take my red and I'm going to color in my aorta. Now all of these are big arteries that go to different parts of our bodies from the heart because the heart's like the engine of our bodies. It's a pump. It's like a muscle. So this big vein is the aorta. It goes all the way through to this section down here. That's why you have to color it in red so you know that this is part of the aorta also. Then we'll come into the left atrium. We're going to color this section red at the tip. We're going to color this section red also. Then using red orange I'm going to color this section red orange and this section red orange and then if there's more there is we're going to color this whole part pink now if you open up your heart it's not going to be all in color codes like this but this just shows you the different sections so that you can keep it straight all right now these are also pink and these are also arteries that are going to other sections of your body so I'm going to do these pink jump over and these two are pink also so you can see it's very complex that's why we're doing it in color okay now I'm going to work on my ventricles I'm going to do my right ventricle with this color black at the tip then I'm going to use my blue and I'm going to use the dark blue part for the tip and this is going to be dark blue then I'm going to come in and use light, use it lightly. I'm going to lightly blue all of this. Now for this space, this is also light blue too. Now I'm going to take dark blue so that I know that this is another artery or vein. And I'm going to make this dark blue. And that jumps over to this space, which is also going to be dark blue. So you know this part goes together too. Then I'm going to use dark blue also because this also is part of that whole space. And this is another artery going to another part of your body. Okay. Then to kind of tie it all together so that you know it's body parts, I'm going to take my, I think this is apricot. If you have multicultural crayons, I'm just going to do the outside of my heart with this color. Comes up. These are not attached. They're two separate parts 
and I'm going to make that all this color. Okay. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my finished parts of a heart. Very simple diagram. It's way more complex than this. But just remember, our heart is between our lungs. It sends blood all over our body, oxygen and nutrients to our body. And um, very important. Okay, bye-bye.